should look for lost treasure. Well, it'll just be regular treasure when we find. me timbers you're alive i mean welcome back you truly earned your pirate names from now on you shall call yourselves i don't know whatever you can think of hey you never said there'd be thinking involved i have a mermaid to impress so you better make good on your promise Come about with that volume, me headed lad, before you alert the Lagoon Guard. They're a ruthless bunch who'll stop at nothing to get their fins on me treasure. So, of course you'll be compensated for all your thinking with this beautifully crafted treasure chest. Contents not included. The chest is the best part. Anything you put in a treasure chest becomes treasure. I should let Gary sleep in there. Okay, fine. But I still want a cool pirate name.
The old cannon still pack a punch, no? Feel the wrath of prom. Let me show you how a real pirate uses these cannons.
Bob, thank Neptune. How did you get here? Eh, the usual. Magical bubbles, reckless wishing, tearing apart the very fabric of space and time. I won't bore you with the details. Just know that we are here to set things straight. Oh, good. These restraints are so tight, I can't feel my leg anymore. Uh, I think your leg will be okay, as long as you stay away from termites. Put that G 
jelly in my belly. We do have a real treasure chest. on board, hoist me last sock, and fire the huge cannon. That should signal me old crew to join us and revel in the destruction of Ahem. the downfall of dismissal? The dismissal of Admiral Prawn! <laughs> Let me show you how a real pirate uses these cannons. Hi, Pi, wanna be pirates?
He should call you the Crying Dutchman, for you are a little baby. Pai Pai, one of the pilots. Still pack a punch, no? Rectangle boy, pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank. The only thing I will be walking is the road of friendship, and that road leads right to Victory Town, so bring it on. <laughs> We are very close to defeating Admiral Prawn. The Dutchman will be so happy, he probably won't even eat our souls. Sorry, not personal.
No more chafing. My beautiful home is back. Home sweet pineapple. But it isn't home without Gary. Patrick, we have to find him. What are you doing, Plankton? Get your charm off me buns! Sounds like Plankton and Mr. Krabs are getting along great. Uh, maybe I should check on him, just in case. Finally, Bikini Bottom is back to its old, unpredictable self. What flavor do you think it is? Things changed around here. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Me. The pumpkins are smiling. Oh yeah. What's so funny? Sticky note. Thank you. 
on my buns? Popcorn air. Listen, I love Halloween as much as the next guy, but isn't this a little overboard? I can see why you wrote that down. So what's going on? Where's the deal? deal? Fruity <laughs> Attention! If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum! Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal to feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, crabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. So hungry, need food and attention. and dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer.
I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. <laughs> A pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Jelly! Jelly in my belly. Ah, no more chafing. Listen, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but the food from this place makes me wish I had eaten one of those exploding pies. Second guess. No, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary.
Thank you.